Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, you know what? I gotta go, okay? Okay. Is he here yet? No. What about Mother? Oh, she's in Clark's office, and Macy, she looks terrible. <sighs> she had a horrible night. I guess Clark came over and really did a number on her. Oh, did he sign the contract? Oh, yeah, he signed it all right. He now owns 51% of the company. Macy, what are we gonna do about this? How are we gonna live with it? I don't know, darling. But it's Mother I'm really worried about. I mean, yes, she's strong, but there's only so much she can take. I'm just so afraid that this is just gonna send her right over the edge. And if he does that to her... <sighs> You're so cruel, son. This world... He didn't even seem to be human. The way he stood there, so cold, rejecting that little baby, his own flesh and blood. Saul, oh my God. You could have heard the things he said to me. You never should have been alone last night. I know. I didn't get much sleep. I sat up all night looking at the baby, wondering about his future, wondering what I'll say to him when I, when he asks me about his father. What am I going to say to him? If I see that man today... Stop, Saul. No. No. We need him. No matter what he is. We still need Clark Garrison because without him, this company simply does not exist. Then I have to ask you something, Sally. Is it worth it? Is it honestly worth the loss of your dignity? When does the time come to say stop? Enough. I say you've reached that point. I brought you something. You sure did. Something besides myself. Well, I'm not interested. It's a present. That's sweet. I want you to put it on your desk at work. To remind me of you? No, to remind you of the softer, gentler Clark Garrison. You got the job, Clark. You control the company. Now it's time for you to be a benevolent leader. Honey. That's not the way corporate America works. <sighs> yes? It's me, Clark. Sally. Sally? Okay, let's get this straight. I don't want you to call me here at home. I just needed to know what time you were planning to come into the office today. I have some meetings scheduled. We'll cancel them. Wait for me. All right, I suppose I could let Saul stand in for me. Oh, yes. Uh, I want you to fire Saul. I want him out of the building by the time I get there. Clark, I can't do that. I'm calling the shots now, sugar lips. You either get rid of him, or I'll do it when I come in today. Either way, he's off the payroll, right now. Clark, was that necessary? He's dead wood. I don't want him, and I don't need him. Look, I gotta get in there. Sally. Don't say anything for a few minutes, Saul, will you, please? I gotta think about this. Mom, what's going on? Clark just called. What, he's not coming in? Oh, he's coming in, all right. Mom, what did he say to you? He told me to fire Saul. Oh, that bastard! Well, if Saul goes, I go. Darla, hold your horses, everybody. Sally. I know you don't want to fire me. You're not going to have to, because I'm going to resign. No, Saul. No, Macy, it's the only way. Clark is in charge. He wants me out, so I'll go. Saul, we are going to fight him on this all the way. And what good is that going to do you? And what good is it going to do Spectrum? Now, you, you can't run a business with people fighting. No, no. This is the best way, believe me. I'll, I'll go downstairs and I'll gather my things. Now you give them hell, all of you. Sally, you've got a nice business here. And don't you give it up for anything or for anybody. 
So, don't leave. Saul, how long have you been with me and this company, huh? Over 30 years. 30 years. And what, you think I'm gonna let you walk out on me just like that? Sally, it's either that or fire me. Yeah. Well, those seem to be the available options, all right? What are you gonna do, Mom? Pretty pathetic situation, wouldn't you say? For a smart businesswoman to find herself in being forced to fire her best friend and most valuable employee? You wanna know why? Because I opened my door last night and I let in a man who treated me worse than I've ever been treated in my life, who mocked me, insulted me, and humiliated me while I stood in front of him holding his own child in my arms. You see, he and I had just signed a piece of paper, an agreement, where I gave him complete control over my life, my family, my business. He didn't show any signs of kindness or compassion or even common decency. He just crushed me under his heels like I was dirt. And then he rejected his own child. He denied that boy any chance to have a father in his life. I was the one that opened the door and let that dangerous animal in. Now, how could I do that? How could I let it happen? Oh, good. You gathered the troops. Save me the trouble. All right, people. There's going to be changes fast and furious over the next few days. Uh, first of all, Macy, I want you to take over for Saul. In the cutting room. That's right. And if you don't like it, you can follow him right out the door. Uh, Darla. We're going to hire a professional for your job. Well, what do you think I am? You're a professional, but I don't know what kind. <laughs> Look, you're going to learn a trade. The sewing room for you, a whole new kind of sweatshop. And Saul, what are you still doing here? Take a hike. All right, people, let's get cracking. Uh, and that means you too, Sally. First, I need to talk to you, Clark. All right, fine. Um, scram, everybody. Your former leader has some tears to shed. You have something to say? Yes, I do. So do I, and since, uh... I'm the boss. I'll talk first. Number one, this place is not to be known as Spectra Garrison. From now on, it's to be named Clark Garrison Originals. Um, I want the sign changed on the side of the building immediately. Sure. You want to rub my nose in it a little more, so you want me to change the company name on my own sign. That's right. Number two, um, I want you to share Saul's old office with Macy. Downstairs. Mm -hmm. In the basement. Yeah, I don't, I don't want to see you. Keep yourself busy and out of my hair, all right? Sure. Good. And that brings us to number three. Can't wait. <sighs> my image is not consistent with a marriage to someone like you. I want you to forget that that marriage ever took place. Do I make myself clear? Very. Good. And that brings me to the last one that I want to implement immediately. Um, right now, after you leave this office, I want you to go to your lawyer and begin proceedings to implement a name change. Name change? That's right. Oh, whose name is going to change? Your little brass. My little brat. I want nothing to do with the kid. Nothing. And I certainly don't want him named after me, so I want you to change his first and his last name. There is no law that says he has to be a garrison. He's an embarrassment. Your son is an embarrassment. I don't have a son. I don't, certainly don't have a son by you. It's not consistent with my image. Is that one of the 
clauses in this contract? Hmm? Well, it's all right there in black and white that I control this joint. So when I want something done, it gets done. And I want you to forget that I ever fathered that snotty-nosed brat of yours. I don't even know he exists. All right? So next time when you refer to him... Hey, what the hell are you doing? Oh, I'm just burning some trash that accumulated around here. I'm purging my life of you, my son's life, and my business. I am burning away every trace of you in my life, Mr. Garrison. You can't do that. That's not going to work. Oh, won't it, really? It's working already. Do you feel the heat? Now just stop it, all right? Oh, I'm burning my bridges, Clark, just like you burned yours. Don't you see that? It's all over. It's finished. I feel nothing for you anymore. Well, both you and I know that's not true. Oh, no, no, don't try it. It's not gonna work. Not anymore. Any love I had for you died yesterday. It all went up in smoke, just like that vile contract. It went poof. It went up in smoke. It's all over. The we... game's over. You're over. We have a deal. You cannot back out. You've been walking out on deals with me for years. You've been lying to me. You betrayed me. You deceived me. You denied me any chance of happiness in my marriage to you. And last night, you denied your own son. Huh? Who do you think you are? You think that we are the to you. What are you, some kind of king, huh? Is that what you think you are? Oh, well, maybe you are. Maybe you are a king. Yeah, right, you are. You are the king of thieves. You are the king of grifters. Boys, throw the bum out. Wait, hey, 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 put me down. Come on, you work for me. Huh? Put me down right now. That's it, boys. Throw him out. Throw him out of the building. Come on. Hey. Get him out in the park. Get the garbage. Damn it. Put him out of that elevator. Put him out right now. You hear me? We are going to have a house cleaning. All right. We're throwing them out. We're throwing them out. Get in the elevator. Out with the rubbish. Oh, good riddance to bad rubbish. Love of my life. And I hope the next time I see your face, it'll be at your funeral. You let me loose. Come on, Happy people. Happy birthday. 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 Happy birth